Hey everyone, Plowbender here again. As you can see, I'm out on the road right now. Uh, not driving, uh, just word to my insurance company. But uh, yeah, on the way to my hobby shop at the moment, and I've actually got uh, NZR doing here with me as well. He's the one doing the driving. <laughs> hey! But uh, yeah, this is basically sort of a uh, one of the crossover videos him and I are doing while he's up here in Pennsylvania for the weekend. So the hobby shop's just up the road from here, and uh, once we get there, we'll go inside and uh, I'll show you guys around. Look at the rubber ducks. <laughs> So here we are at my hobby shop, a uh, lot of good stuff here, we'll go ahead and look around and uh, Zach is currently like a little kid in the candy store. A hobby shop and this place sells hundreds and hundreds of trains. There are trains littered all over the place. The walls are covered in trains. There, it, it, it's better. It's like Hobby Lobby times a million. So this is the first room off to the side and you can see that this is really well stocked. A lot of stuff here just goes on and on. Quite a few models in the display cases. You can see what's all here. I like that GG1 right there. Oh, that one's nice too. collection purposes. Yeah, that's on it. Okay, love you. Bye. What's this like bargain bin? Looks like Tyco, lifelike. Stuff for parts. A hopper car don't look too bad. This and couplers. But yeah, that's pretty nice. Got the counter over here the back a lot of what's in here is basically end scale I don't know how well you're seeing all that you can see rolling stock there I don't see any locomotives oh there's one of the deluxe Bachman Thomas sets in the package eh, $229.99 VHS tapes up top here Thomas the Magic Railroad I love toy trains. Looks like we got three, six, nine, three again, two. Uh, not sure what those are. A couple sets, Bachman sets, uh -huh. trolley sets, more vehicles, billboards, more VHS tapes right there. A little hard to video this limited space, but this uh, shelf here is all HO rolling stock uh, coaches and freight cars and such. Uh, notice these Bowser uh, kits right here. I wonder if they have anything uh, for the Pittsburgh and Shawmut. I know they did a while back, but Shawmut Diamond right there. Try to grab it without knocking stuff down. Yeah, there we are. I still have some of those at home. Going along here, got some lifelike stuff. I don't really care for these because they're so cheap, but uh, 10 hey, bucks for I that. I actually do play what? with Wooden Railway, and I make Wooden Railway videos, so I'm gonna get this Rosie. This Rosie's really nice. Okay. Uh, and it's small enough I can fit it. Just noticed here, there's the Bachman Tidna Sheds expansion pack. Fifty-three dollars on that. Oh, I have Fergus. Bachman still makes that, but they discontinued the Tidmus sheds. Got some Ertl collectible stuff here. Looks like some trailer loads. A couple of combine headers. Is there any rolling? Yeah, there's Leah Valley, low side gondola. I believe this is a box car. Yep. Got those. I noticed we got some Bachman control systems. There's the Dynamis I had. Did a video on that, but I didn't really care for using that as my operating system. 
Uh, there's easy command systems there. Uh, what is this? American Circus. I'm telling you, uh, I could be in here all day videoing and I would not even see half of what's here. Zach actually noticed this uh, HO scale dummy unit. For 10 bucks. Yeah. Not, not a powered unit, uh, more or less just a heavy piece of rolling stock. I hear guys complain about those dummy units. They're just made too heavy. Going around to the other side of the aisle here on the end, there's some wooden railway stuff. This is where Zach probably found that Rosie. Yeah. But a little bit of Ertl right here. Look at all that mint in the packaging. Some of that's portrait packaging, some of it's Shine Time Station packaging. You know, Ertl's been gone almost 20 years now. Imagine some of the prices these can pull on eBay. And they're still being sold at retail yeah. price here, which is amazing. But uh, over here, got some wooden railway on the other side of the shelf. Where does he find Track these? packs, um, risers, more track. There's a uh, hurdle accessory set. Looks like three of those. Destinations, other pieces for wooden railway. There's some more VHSs, Thomas and the Magic Here's Railroad. Here's a dummy trolley car. Time Station. And it, but it actually does come with lights though. Probably a lot of people don't even know what a VHS is. This There's one Zach just found it's not a, it's a dummy, but it actually does have um it has lights on. So I don't know, I guess so it's, it's basically just, just a light up coach and nothing more. Yeah. But, oh look at this Amtrak set oh, by Spectrum. Check that out. There's the Bachman uh Plasticville uh water tower from the Thomas line. That was one of the first times they released buildings. There's the storage shed. More wooden railway stuff here, bridge, hospital. There's Cranky, I think there's a couple Crankies in here actually. Another one down there. Over here, I think a lot of this is just uh, building kits, like building structures, uh, maybe some scenery stuff. Building kits are great. Like, look, they have a church. What is this? It's like a church built. It's a cathedral. Up in Plasticville. Um. Oh, look at this crossing gate. Yeah, there's gate. more of the stuff over here. Look at the old packaging on this crossing gate too. There's the Amtrak, the cell set. I think this actually opens. Oh, oh, they open and Watch. here. Let's kind of move this stuff very. Carefully. Oh, that's got one of the old Magnum controllers in it. Look, look it's that. got a real. Wait, no, that's not a real picture, but it looks real. No, I think that is a real one. No, no, no that's it's definitely not. a model. It's a model when you but, sell the car. Yeah, that's a really nice set. How much? Four fifty. Four. That is really not a bad price, I don't think. There's some HO scale vehicles and such. I think these are actually end scale, but lifelike cement mixer. I think they also have you know, there's an oil truck there, wrecker truck back in there. I think they have a uh, bus somewhere, or maybe not, but. Uh, there's the Bachman Gandy Dancer. Also got one of the, uh, what they call them, track car. Oh, there's the inspection van, the pickup truck. I used to have the pickup truck when I was doing HO scale. There's the uh, school bus. Geez, look at it. a lot of stuff here. Oh, there's a Kipri kit. Jeez, that's, I'm telling you, this place again you could look around all day and you wouldn't even see half of what's actually here i'm telling you guys this place is great i'm uh, gonna look around a little more but i do want to return to this thomas section especially the herbal stuff because i want to pick up a few things while i'm here and it still works check out everything in here more replicas big rigs classic cars a little bit of nascar I like that uh, Pennsylvania State Police car right there. Okay. Bunch of NASCAR stuff. Drag stuff. And there's the Matchbox Steamroller back there for 75 bucks. It was 18.94. Out of production. More cars there. On the way back. I don't know. I didn't catch the name of it, but it has like a bunch of railroad cars sitting outside the restaurant over there. We're going out this way, we're getting into like the G scale area. Bachman little big hauler set. Um, there's a little bit of O gauge mixed in here as well. O gauge hoppers, uh, MTH, Rail King. There's Zach again. I can't believe how much stuff this oh, is. Oh, check, check this out. What? 
the old Lino GCL Tomish accessory pack. Yeah, look at that. That is like yeah. mint in the box, still sealed. Hey, do you have a, do you have, do it's upside have down, but like there's all the stuff you get. Thomas faces, the figures, uh, that little sound thing, track mat. That is nice. They also have over here uh, is the building set. You get the water tower station and the windmill. I mean, geez, there's probably some people out there that would really want to have this stuff. What? Who's this engine at the bottom? It looks like Thomas, but it's green and there's no face. Uh, that's Bluebell. Bluebell? Uh, one of the Railway Series characters. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's got Lord Harry uh, on there. What, oh, I need one of those. For whatever reason, uh, Ertle, Ertle made a prototype for Bluebell that was different than that, but they didn't. I don't know what the deal was. They decided to use a Thomas. That is. I mean, they said the original model was too fragile for small hands, but I didn't see other than the driver sticking out of the cab. I didn't see the problem. That's amazing. Got some Bachman Trains catalogs. There's one from 2016. And we got this one here from 2019. There's even this one from 2018. Going back this way, getting into some G-scale stuff. Here's some Aristocraft models. Aristocraft went under years back. I know Bachman's acquired a couple of their toolings. Stock car right there. What's, oh, this is a passenger car combine. But back here's a lot of stuff. Got O-gauge on this side, G-scale on that side. Zach's back here checking things out. I don't Look. know why, but I want a powered trolley. Like, you know, like a Christmas train kind yeah. of thing. Or like if you had a train on the shelf, this would be perfect. Look at that, folks. Just a little street car. MTH. Which Pink is going caboose. out of business, huh? Yeah, MTH is coming to the end. Of, uh, end of an end, era. End of 2021. That is the end of a good era right there. I mean, there. I'm telling you right now, probably probably 20 years from now, people are going to be in this hobby shop. Please tell me that up. Lionel is still around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, going over on this side, there's uh, more O-gauge up there, but you can see a little bit of uh, G-scale stuff up here. Lionel, Bachman, Aristocraft. Uh, I noticed over here, I'm just moving past Zach at the moment, over here they've got the G-scale uh, Bachman Red Open Wagon, they also got Annie right there. 99 bucks on the open wagon. I guess and for 70 G scale, it's not bad, huh? Stuff from LGB, Aristocraft, Bachman, USA Trains. Man, there is just anything and everything here. I'm telling you, just looking through all this, I mean, look at how packed those shelves are. And there's even stuff that's you know still in the boxes here. Almost feel like American Pickers digging through all this stuff, wondering what you might find. Head back out this way. Something I just noticed that uh, can't see it too well because of the glare of the light, but this Lionel Caboose, I actually got one of these and I fixed it up. It was in a bundle of trains I purchased for $10 a couple years ago. More display cabinets, more O gauge stuff. Just noticed down here there's a 611 down here a little hard to see but there's some g-scale stuff that looks like an older uh the older tin train that box car right there but yeah there's some g-scale stuff in here just going around to the other side getting into replica vehicles there and there's even some rc stuff here uh, pretty much anything and everything going back here to the back of the store couple service desks here but got a bunch of model kits back here I don't know how much of my audience is really into these but just all these model car kits model boats ships planes anything and everything I mean look I'm telling you right now this place is piled to the roof I guess all the planes are over on this side hopefully you can see what's all here I know the lighting and this part of the shop isn't the best. There's a trailer for a big truck. Oh, they got a couple big trucks right here. A couple Kenworth T600s. I noticed over here, uh, there's another Thomas Wooden Railway set. 
or accessory, I guess it's just the bridge. Uh, American Flyer set right here. $225 to get the locomotive, some rolling stock, track. I uh, don't think there's a controller for this though. But yeah, more uh, model kits all around here. Now we're getting into some of the uh, die cast replicas. A lot of NASCAR stuff here. And ooh, I do like that uh, 1935 Mack fire truck. Look at that thing. That is, that is a beauty. They also got a 1941 GMC right there. Uh, yeah, a lot of NASCAR here, uh, muscle cars, classic cars, anything and everything once again. I mean, I can't show you all everything. There's just too much stuff here. Up this aisle here, there's just more and more model kits, more planes it looks like. Uh, ooh, display cases. These are nice. Yeah, I think everything on this side is just all planes. There's some more stuff right there. Ooh, 1930 Arathians. Look at that. That is a nice truck. Looks like got another um, display cabinet here. Looks like older vehicles, planes, ship right there. I'm actually a fan of the old ships in the bottle. Oh, look at this little diorama. Look at that. Actually, a couple of them. There's a tank diorama right there. A couple tanks on displays. Bet you. Uh, Marty's Matchbox makeovers really like these. Just more stuff down there and such. There's some construction equipment. What is this? Norscott 150 a scale. A grader dump truck. Ooh, getting some military equipment. Looks like there's another one right there. Another grader. And this uh, front end loader right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Got more. Uh, die cast stuff here it looks like a lot of 164 scale stuff here from Johnny Lightning and what have you actually gonna look through a couple of these oh there's some older matchbox stuff in the older matchbox packaging look at that stuff here race cars oh that's uh Mario Andretti right there look, look at that kind of out of focus but yeah there's looking through all this Johnny Lightning stuff here a lot of classic cars and muscle cars there's some racing champion stuff Ford F-150 pickup there oh there's a Dodge Viper there's one for you Eric also noticed got uh, this one down here by Ertl 1996 Dodge Viper I think I pretty much look through here. I'm going to head out uh, front, meet up with uh, Zach. I think he's around here. There he is. What'd you find? I found this Back to the Future with three cars on it. It's so All right. cool. All right. I want to look. I'm trying to look for wooden railway stuff, but I think I'm. I'm gonna, out. I want to look through some Ertl stuff. I noticed we got some boxes. Yeah, I showed you guys earlier. We got some wooden railway stuff here. That's why I don't know why we got a Bachman water tower in with all this. But, you know, there's a lot of the stuff's in the plain blue packaging. I don't know. I never cared for that. Just the plain blue packaging seems so bland. Uh, there's Renaissance in the portrait packaging. I don't really need to say what's all here. You can pretty much see for yourself. Ooh, cool. There's a Scarlo in the portrait packaging. I need one of those. Probably grab that. More stuff. Duncan, Rusty. A lot of Tobys and Percy's here. The Percy's are haunting me again. A lot of Trevor's. Here's stuff in the Shine Time packaging. Godred, Terrence. Another, there's Caldy. Another Godred. There's a Daisy right there. I actually need a Daisy. I'll probably pick that up. They also got these five packs. Uh, I guess Zach showed one of these earlier. There's the one with Bluebell. They also have this one here. It comes with uh, Lady, the old coaches, Wilbert and Terrence. But I want to check out some of these boxes here. What do we got here? The box says Duncan's. These don't look like Duncan's. Look at, look at this. Slate trucks, Airy, Bert. No, I think these are just Airy. Well, think. there's a Bert down there. Yeah, there's Bert. Addy yeah. and Bert. They got both, both the Iron Twins. Oh, here, I need I need one of these. Go zoom in on that. 
Smudge. Yeah, I need to. Make Listen, a Dookie. Got a Who worries about a few spills? I don't need any slate trucks. What Rest in peace, George fire. Carlin. <laughs> those. What's in this other one? Oh, cool. There's a Sodor taxi. More slate trucks. A lot of slate trucks. Pump trolley. Oh, check this out. Maybe pick up one of these. Look at that. Flying Scotsman. Mint in <gasps> Whoa, the packaging. Whoa, look. I mean, granted, it's just a Gordon recolor, but I don't know. Get one of those, maybe? Maybe. Wow, that's kind of rare. But there's a Lori 1 on the flatbed. The Lori seem to be uh, popular ones, too. He got seaweed all over him. Oh, well, yeah, because he fell in the ocean. That's oh, funny. geez, look at his face. Can you, can you get a good view of his face? Oh, wow. Poor fella, seen better days. Okay, got more stuff here. Looks like a repeat of what we just saw earlier. Lori One, Smudger, Slate Trucks, Pump Trolley. I'm not seeing. Lang Scotsman. Oh, uh, there's a couple of them at the bottom of the box there, but not really anything I'm in, interested in. What we got in this one. Oh, geez. This place is polluted with these Slate Trucks. I mean, look at all these. A lot of lorry ones. Another smudger. I think these boxes are pretty much. Do I dare? I don't even know if it's worth digging to the bottom. Another flying Scotsman. Two flying Scotsmen. Yeah. Yeah. Not really what I'm looking for here. I think we got some more boxes though. Another box here. This this one says Thomas on it, so I'm assuming. Yeah, we definitely got. Oh, geez. There's. Look at that. Check this out. A lot of God rigs. Mint in the Shining Time packaging. Six twenty nine. dollars Where are you going to find a better price than that? Mm -mm. Yeah, a lot of God rigs. I'm seeing all God rigs. I'm not really seeing quality. Oh, look. Here, here's something for you. It's her handle in the portrait packaging. Really? Seven twenty nine. dollars Check that out. Look at that. Wow. And then we also got Birdie here in the Shining Time. I have that Birdie. Well. I actually got that birdie when I was very young. Let's see here. What's in this other box? We got more Tom stuff here. No, I think that one's Bachman. Yeah, more of those dummy units. Just looking here, they got the figure eight expansion track pack. This is probably the like the newest wooden railway thing they actually have here at the moment. You know, this is I would assume Fisher Price. This is made during the Mattel era. There's a lot of this other stuff. You can see here, this goes clear back to the learning curve right there. And I mean, geez, you know, some of this stuff, you'd be hard pressed to even find it on eBay. I also noticed uh, down here, we got the lifting bridge. Where else are you gonna find that mint in the box? I mean, look at that. More Ertl. Yeah, I found another box here. It's just the same thing. More Lori ones, more smudgers. There's a bulgy in here though. Oh, look at that. Oh, is this? Oh, I need to, I need that. Lord Harry, I definitely need that. I'm taking that with me. Yeah, okay. cause we always had Godre, but now there's Lord Harry. Well, I need him for one of the customs I'm doing, but yeah, that was definitely worth, I think that's all that's in here. But there's another box back here behind. Yeah, this is the other box. Ooh, we got some good stuff in here. Got a couple, oh my God, Derek. Yeah, I got a couple couple Derek's. Looks like- Do you have more. Derek already? Yeah. A couple more of the Iron Twins. About three of those. Oh, there is, they do have the biplane in here. Tiger Moth? Yeah. Oh, I have that one too. My grandpa loved Tiger Moth. Now that was a true die cast model. That one was really good. Yeah, that's really solid. That's really all that's uh, in here. But over over there, we got a couple as well. Well, let's go check them out. Now check this out. This this here's the booty haul. I remember this one. Oh, look at those tankers. Yeah, unfortunately, this has been damaged. You look there, you can see the tar tanker's got a broken pin. Mm. But I, almost like somebody stepped on it, and the packaging itself's been stapled back together. But look at this it's top hat and lady. Whoa. Hat. Okay. Another Sodor taxi. Here's a, a here's James. a James 729. I uh, want to pick one of these up for Jacob. Hadn't seen that yet. So we'll set that aside. Uh, Herald. Bunch of, yeah, we got a bunch of Heralds in here. Uh, well, a lot of Heralds actually. Quite a few Jameses. Uh, 
There's a Caroline in the portrait packaging. I have her. Oh boy, we got more Coldies. James, Caroline. There's a lot. Wow. This, I don't know if you can see. Zoom in a little bit. Yeah. You can see there's more Jameses down at the bottom there. Definitely a lot of Heralds. Oh, Jeez. This, this place definitely has a surplus of Heralds. I'm not even going to dig the rest of the way down. I know yeah, I'm going to set the box too much, but yeah. it's, it's awesome. Yeah, I feel like I clean this up. I think there's another box underneath us. So we got another box here, but really all there is is a surplus of Tobys. You can see we do have... Uh, Annie Clarabelle? Boxes. Yeah. And then there's another Herald. But sir, I've never seen so many Ertles in one place before. Oh, trust me, this is the place to be. If you're looking for Ertles, you come down here. Come to Pennsylvania, do boys Pennsylvania, and you will be in hog heaven with these Ertles. Got it. All right, we're heading out. Got the stuff. Whoa, let's eat. So yeah, that was a good trip. So we just got back from the hobby shop and pretty good day. Had a great haul of stuff. Uh, what all you get, Zach? So I got a present for my grandma because when I leave Corey's, I'm going to Nashville, which is where she is. These are some Lionel Christmas ornaments. They, uh, they look pretty cool. They're plastic, so uh, they shouldn't be too fragile. They got orange and blue colored bows on them. So really, really cool. Um, Got this, I always love learning curve, and honestly, I still wish that they made stuff, but they always have really cool pieces of accessories like this switch track, and they even show you on the back, you know, kinda, kinda how you can do everything. There's Duncan and Mike, which they aren't even on the same scale, but we, we're gonna forget about all that. And then I got a Rosie, which honestly, I think I already had a Rosie, but, oops, but what, what's the harm in having a second one? But uh, we had to use a rubber band because this packaging is so old, it literally came apart in the store. But Rosie's as cute as a little button, though, so that's cool still. And then I wanted an extra coach. So this isn't Thomas, obviously. This is Lionel, but it's compatible with Brio, Thomas, and other wooden railway sets. So, you know, think of it as like a like an extra coach for Gordon. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. So that's my haul. Uh, as for me... A uh, lot of Ertle stuff here that I got. Uh, first thing, managed to get a Scarlowy in the portrait packaging. You can see here how he looks. And I always love the portrait packaging. This will be going into my collection of new emboxed Ertles in this package. Uh, also got my hands on a Lord Harry for a project. And also got a Smudger for a project. And also a Daisy for a project. And I also picked up a James and Smudger for uh, Jacob here on YouTube. And this one, Zach actually found, it's a set of three DeLoreans from Back to the Future. They're made by Jada. And when I saw these, I was telling Zach this would probably make a great gift for Eddie. So uh, this will be going to him. But uh, yeah, that was a really great haul of Ertles to say the least. So yeah, overall, really great day. Got some good stuff at the hobby shop. And I'm pretty sure Zach enjoyed himself as well. Oh, yeah. Like, I wish I had a hobby shop like this back home. I would definitely go to it all the time. For sure. But uh, big thanks to the guys at Fishel's Hobby Center for all these great items. Uh, if you're ever in the area, feel free to stop by and check them out. Uh, they also have a website. Uh, Zach's actually got uh, their business card right here. So there you go, guys. Uh, not sponsored by them. Just really enjoy shopping there. And like I said, it's a really great place to go if you ever want to pick up some mint and box Ertle gear. But that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you guys want to, feel free to check out Zach's channel. Uh, what is it? A Zach Attack? Yeah, Zach Attack. Yeah, so uh, feel free to check that out. Also, I'll leave a link in the video description as well as links to all my pages. So until then, this is Plowbender and... Peace out, y'all. Zach here. here. All right.